All right, y'all, so we are back outside. As you can see, there's the lines that we just put in coming out the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those bent down. And we will get the lines hooked up to them. It'll be these guys right here. And then I'll show you guys connecting them to the actual unit there. We'll kind of talk about what I've got done already and all that. So, here we go. This ring here that goes on the outside of the wall and your lines run through that so if you forget to put this on before you hook all your lines up your SOL you're not gonna get it on there so good thing I was thinking happens once in a while all right so when you go to bend these lines down yeah. you gotta I'm talking to the people <laughs> when you go to bend these lines down you just hold your hand underneath them so you don't kink them just bend them straight down like that. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Part of the instructions is that you don't do what I'm about to tell you to do. <laughs> so with these ones I know I'm gonna need all of the line because I don't these are the shortest ones they sell. I believe they're 16 feet so they're not very long and I have I have to use it. So simple real simple you're just gonna kind of bend those down put your foot on them hold them in place and then just roll them out. Real easy stuff, just like that. All right, so we got the connections threaded together, tightened down. Uh, when you tighten them down, especially this one, you actually hear the um, the refrigerant being released into the um, in between the two. The lines come pre-charged, so it actually you can hear it getting released into the the unit inside. All right, we got those on there. And this I'm only supposed to unroll as much as you need, which to me is kind of silly. Because what happens when I get to this point? y'all so these are the ones we just hooked up here see that yes those two right there that's our first 9k this is our second 9k and then the 24k the big one in the living room that one has to go to the bottom one I did not fully read the instructions before I tried putting this one on you actually have to switch these adapters out to be able to put these lines on and I was trying to do it up here. Well, it doesn't work up there. Those adapters only fit on the A section. So if you're going to do this, read the instructions. Number one is probably a good idea. And number two, the bigger, like I think it's 18K and bigger maybe, has to go on the bottom one where they had the bigger, bigger connections. So now we've got to go through and get all the valves opened up. To let the Freon start. Freon? Refrigerant? I don't know what to call it. To let the refrigerant start flowing, we have to open up these six valves, then the king valves, and then we have to go around and test all our connections and make sure nothing's leaking. So, we're going to start by pulling all the caps off. Alright, so 
So one, two, three, four, five, six taps off. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this in there. And you'll hear it start to flow. You just back it out until it stops. That's all you gotta do. There's all those. And then we got those open, so we're gonna go ahead and put these caps back on here. Y'all, it ain't too hot out here until you sit in the sun with no breeze on you. It gets a little toasty. I'm just gonna give them just a little bit of a torquing. These are the king valves. We gotta do the same thing with them. We did the lower valves. Oh, these things are freaking on there. So, open them up. Heard a lot of uh, refrigerant come out of that one. Got to make sure you open them all the way up. It's very important, as stated in the instructions. It's as far as it'll go. And when it stops, you're done. That and that. Then you take your handy dandy soapy water. You spray everything down. And check real close for any bubbles. If you see any bubbles at all, that means you have a leak and you need to get that tightened up. So I got no bubbles there. All right, so we've got our lines connected. We got the refrigerant flowing now. The next step after leak testing everything is we got to put these sound deadening. I don't know what you call them. They're kind of like a thick, sticky tar paper-ish. I don't know how to describe it, but they're very malleable and very sticky. So you just put them around all of the connections, the line connections, and I'm assuming that way if when things rattle around, you don't hear them banging against each other. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. So we got the lines all sound deadened. You gotta use this, uh, it's not really a tape, it's a wrap to go around and just kind of hold everything together. We are eventually gonna get the covers that cover all this, make it look all nice and pretty. Uh, we didn't order them initially, so that's just going to have to wait for some time down the road when we get to that point. But right now, this will do and hold them in place. I think I am going to take some little screws and run them through those flanges into the siding. Just to hold those there, because I don't like how, how open that is. And I might put a little bit of insulation in that, in the hole, because I don't like how that is either. But, you know, little things like that. Alright y'all, it is the next day, Monday. Had to kind of put the camera away and just focus on getting getting the mini split finished up. It took till, I don't know, 9 o'clock last night. As you can see, I have a mess here, I have a mess over there. Everything is a mess right now. All the lines are complete disaster, but it is functioning, which is the important part. We got it going. I'm not going to show the electrical. I'm not an electrician. Um, it's very simple, but I'm not going to put that on camera for the world to see in case somebody does something and screws it up. But yeah, it's all labeled one, two, three for each of your wires. You just put them on one, two, three, and then you put the ground on, and it's super simple. It is glorious. Um, like I said, we got it done last night. Set everything to 62, as low as it'll go, and everybody was cold this morning when we woke up, man. That's just fantastic. Yeah, I have uh, I have a lot of work cut out for me today, just trying to get caught up and cleaned up, but we'll get her taken care of. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this one as we wrap up another part of installing our HVAC system. If you're new to the channel, the best way to support us is to like and subscribe to our channel. Keep following our journey as we renovate this new homestead down here in Tennessee. If you're returning to our channel, thank you so much for your support. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.